Hey everybody, John Patterson with St. Clair Boat Sales, here with our good friend and former co-host of the beautiful show, Powerboat Television, here to showcase to you a 2007 Cruiser Yacht 52 Express. Thank you very much to the seller for the opportunity to list such an incredible boat. Thank you to all of our customers, our friends, all of our supporters, everybody out there, thank you so much. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be anything. And we're just so excited to have Steve again, and it's, it's December, it's cold, but we're, we're boat shopping, so thanks so much. I love it. Well, without people like you, we wouldn't be able to get the boat, so this works out. But uh, when you yeah. told me December, I was a little nervous, but being indoor heated storage makes this a nice shoot. Uh, right away though, just the beam of this boat, 15 and a half feet, it's so roomy and Massive. livable up here. It is. Down below, you'd think it'd feel a little more cramped. Somehow it doesn't because of all the lights and the colors. Yeah. So we'll start down below. Let's go down, uh, we'll start in the master stateroom. Located midship, you'll find a king size bed on the center line and a love seat settee on the port side. Behind the cherry wood doors, you'll find the washer dryer unit. Large portholes let natural light flood in, and below the settee, you'll find the underlying theme of cruisers' yachts a ton of storage everywhere throughout the boat, including on the starboard side, where you'll find deep reaching cabinets and large drawers. A lot of people that have boats this size still only use them as day boats, and that's fine. But a lot of people, myself included, I like using my sport yacht a lot, like a floating cottage. I'd love to do the loop one day. You could do it in this one, not just because of the size and the comfort, but because of the storage. You have room for all of your things, and there's really clever little touches, like in this hanging locker on the starboard side here in the master stateroom. It's got that cutout, so longer clothes like pants or dresses don't sit bunched up on the bottom of the hanging locker. Tiny little thing that can make a big difference. The ensuite head is spacious without wasting space. There's a separate shower with glass door, ample counter space, and more storage behind mirrored cabinet doors. Entering the main salon, you step up past the side-by-side -side fridge freezer unit and of course, they've built storage in wherever they can here as well, including shelves large enough to house a blender. The galley is massive, with an L-shaped counter wrapping along the port side. There's a ceramic dual stove top, dual basin sink, a drawer-style dishwasher, and plenty of room for dishes with sturdy clasps on the doors. A popular and unique cocktail bar setup is on display while keeping things safe and secure including bottle holders of various sizes and room for your glassware. Wood accents on the ceiling, just behind the dual hatches, combine nicely with the light colors down here to give a warm yet open feeling of a cavernous living space. The cabinets above the portholes are deceivingly deep, and this is where you'll find easy access to the breakers. At the other end of the massive lounger is room for your larger items. Just check out how much we crammed in here. There's so much room on these wood floors, you could even use a Yeti cooler as an ottoman. It's not cramped. There's a wood table that can fold out for entertaining. And in the floor, you'll find some more storage for essentials. Just ahead, there's the bow thruster and battery and sump pump, all with easy access for maintenance or repairs. And right around here is where the main access to the guest head is. It too has a separate shower, plenty of room, yet with lots of storage for your guests and for cleaning supplies. This 520 is equipped with central vac and clearly designed by boaters with solid magnets to hold doors open even when underway. The guest suite at the bow has a queen bed on the center line and direct access to the head. The cherry wood cabinets give your guests room for their things along both sides and in a deep reaching drawer at the foot of the bed. There's also a cedar line hanging locker on the starboard side. Moving back up to the helm, there are twin helm chairs with bolsters and an automotive inspired dash design. Nice touches like a footrail under the helm and a hatch overhead. It's a 2007, so the electronics are a little dated and you might opt to upgrade them, but these are in excellent condition and are all you need. 
The aft cockpit will be prime real estate with the entertainment console, fridge and grill on the port side and a wraparound bench opposite. Access to the engine room is through the floor here where you'll find the twin 715 horsepower Volvo Penta diesels with only 875 hours. There's a 13.5 kilowatt generator, a reversal oil changing system, and plenty of room for maintenance access. Also worth noting, this has a hydraulic swim platform. So an absolutely beautiful boat, John. You got all the good stuff every time you call me. <laughs> the only complaint is that it's December and we can't go out because this thing is a bit of a beast when it comes to performance too, right? It's not just a comfy liveaboard. This this this, uh, this, this boots. Oh, this boat will cruise at 30 miles an hour. I mean, for a 52 foot cruisers, I mean, that's incredible. This boat is unbelievable. And if someone wants it, they can contact John. And if this boat uh, isn't what you're looking for, you're looking for something else or you have one to sell, you're the man, right? That's it. That's it. Thanks so much. And thanks to everybody. And uh, thanks for coming down, Steve. You're welcome. Take care.